Do you want to set up Twitch channel point predictions for your stream? Lucky for you in this video, I'll show you how to set them up for your stream and explain why I think they're the best for keeping your chat engaged, adding an extra layer of fun, and overall just having a good time. So if that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. And let's jump into it like this wrinkly shirt that I just put on because I didn't realize how hard linen is to keep not wrinkled. So the very first thing that we need to do is head over to Twitch and make sure you're logged in. And once you're logged in, go to the top right corner corner of Twitch and we're gonna go to the creator dashboard. So click on creator dashboard. So now that we're on the creator dashboard, you need to be aware that if you do not have channel points unlocked, then obviously channel point predictions are not gonna work. If you have no idea what the heck a channel point is, you need to go over to the viewer rewards and then you'll see power ups and channel points. And if you do not see that, it means you're not a Twitch affiliate. And in order to hit Twitch affiliate, you need to reach 50 followers, stream for eight hours, stream on seven different days and reach an average of three viewers. And if this sounds like a lot to you, you can go watch the playlist in the top right corner of this video. It's gonna show you how to grow your stream from scratch, or I also have a course holding your hand step-by-step step in the description down below. So the choice is yours. But once you've confirmed that you're an affiliate, and by the way, if you just hit affiliate, sometimes it takes a day or two for this to show up, so don't freak out. But once you have this unlocked, all you're gonna have to do is go up to the stream manager tab. So click on that. Now we're brought on the obviously stream manager page because that's what we freaking clicked on. But if we look behind my webcam, once, God, why does my webcam keep going right where I don't need it to? <laughs> we go right behind the webcam, you see a button that says start a prediction. Now, many of you probably don't even see this button. So what you need to do is go down and click this plus button right here to add a new quick action to your stream. And then once you're on here, we're going to scroll down until we see, where is it? Start a prediction. So you're going to click on add that right there. And then once you've added it, we can X out of that. And now you'll see it under your quick actions list right here. Once you see it here, all you need to do is simply click on it, bring back the webcam for obvious purposes, but you'll see that we have a prediction. So I've already done one before. And so it's showing the previous prediction that I have done on my stream. So if that's not what you're seeing here, that's totally fine because it's probably the first time you've done one. So you don't have one to see. We're going to click start a prediction here if you don't already see this point here. And basically the parameters that we can change are what we're going to name the prediction. So as you can see here, we're playing a game called Chain Together, which is basically an harder version of only up because you have your friends chained together while you're trying to complete only up if that makes sense so basically we have a bunch of who's gonna fall first will we win will i place top five this round when we were doing Fortnite and all that fun stuff so basically you're going to create a name here so let's say you're playing i don't know Fortnite. we're gonna say will we place top five question mark then you can create possible outcomes here like yes no but if you have something like who's going to fall first and there's like three of you, then you can add a, another option right here. So then it would be our friend Sparky. But obviously, since there's just going to be a yes or no, we don't need that third option. But I believe you can add. I don't I'm actually not sure how many options you can add. Wow. You can add. I didn't know you could add this many. You can add 10 options. Yikes. Uh, so if you wanted to, that is available there. But for majority of you, you're probably just going to have two possible outcomes because it's just going to keep things easier that way. The next thing is you can change is the submission period here. So this is going to be how long your viewers have to guess the outcome. So how long they're going to be able to put their channel points into your prediction. So usually I'd like to keep it, I don't know, maybe one to five minutes. It really depends on how long you think it's going to take them. I feel like the longer I have for people to submit, the longer people wait and then they forget that there was even a prediction. They're like, oh man, why did I miss it? So I like to keep it shorter than usual, which is relevant to other parts. Never mind. We're gonna try and keep it around one minute. And so we're gonna hit start prediction. And now you can see the banner is gonna appear over your chat room and everyone else's chat room while they're watching your stream. So we'll give it a couple seconds. It's gonna say win channel points if you make the correct prediction. So obviously people are going to have a choice between yes or no, because that's what we sent. We can click on this right here. You see yes, no. So if we want, we hit predict as the viewer. You can also see that little bar going down. That's that one minute timer we set. And so here it's gonna pop it up on the bottom of the chat and you'll be able to predict points under yes or no. And so depending on how many people put points on yes versus no, will determine the actual value of points that they're going to get. So if it's like 99% on yes and 1% on no, 
the person that is voting no, and if it's actually no, they're gonna get a lot of channel points for that prediction. So it really is weighted based on how many people have a certain amount of points on each side. So we're just gonna let this run out for a second. As you can see, no one voted in this because obviously this is just a practice one. But if we X out of this, you can see now, well, actually you can't see because it's behind my webcam, but now we can choose prediction outcomes. So we'll click that. We'll just say that we did place top five. So we're gonna hit choose outcome, but if for whatever reason you mess this up, you can also hit delete and it will return all the people's channel points, which is very important because if you accidentally mess up and you let's say choose no when it should have been yes, there is no way for you to give their channel points back to them. Unfortunately, there's just not a way to do it as far as I know, but hopefully with an update in the future, maybe they'll be able to add that because it's a lot less of a pain in the butt than just apologizing profusely because you can't really get those back. But anyways, just make sure that when you do choose your outcome, so yes or no, we're gonna hit choose outcome. Let's just say it's yes. Make sure that it is actually yes and not no. I have done it before where I accidentally hit no and I felt like a dick, so just don't do that. So we're gonna hit yes. Make sure, double check that it is yes. Hit complete prediction. They're even going to tell you right here. They're like, hey, Cody, are you sure yes is the correct outcome? If you mess this up, People who have chose the correct one will be rewarded zero channel points. You will not be able to reverse your choice and this will end the prediction. Just in case you uh, you have a goof like I did, this is a little backup for you, but I still think it would be nice for us to be able to control viewers channel points, but that's on Twitch's end, not mine. So we're gonna hit complete prediction, bada boom, bada bing. It's going to show right here that the prediction result was yes. And then it's also going to tell you the detailed summary of who got how many points. So if we click see details, it's gonna show all of the points that were given to the winners based off of how many points were on each side and all that sort of math stuff that really goes over my head. And then whoever won that prediction will see the new balance of their channel points in your stream, which they'll be able to reward um, all the different channel point rewards that you have on your stream. And if you don't have channel point rewards on your stream, then what are you doing? You need to go watch this video to the side of me so you can set them up for your stream. Because my name's Cody and I'm gonna walk you through it right there. So go watch that video.